Good morning, Classroom 1A. It's time for meeting. Let's go with the details of our day. Yesterday was what? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. So if yesterday was Thursday, then today is what? Yesterday was Thursday, then today is Friday. Today is Friday. So if yesterday was Thursday and today is Friday, then tomorrow will be what? Yesterday was Thursday and today is Friday, then tomorrow will be Saturday. Tomorrow's Saturday. So today is Friday. Month is April. What number? What's the number one or first? So it's the first day of April. Right. What season is it? Oh, it's April 1st and the year is 2022. <laughs> it's spring. Yep, it's spring. So then what is the weather like outside today? You can look outside of your windows. Miss Jessica's gonna look outside her windows. Remember, you might have to stand up to look outside your windows, but Miss Jessica can just kind of look both ways. When I look outside my windows here at school, I see that it's sunny outside today. Yep, it's a sunny day. All right, let's go over our classroom rules. Be respectful of yourself and others. Remember, we need to respect all people, and that includes yourself because you're a person. We respect people's differences, opinions, personal space, personal property, choices, ability levels. We need to respect all aspects of all people because everyone has the right to be treated with respect. One great way to show respect is by keeping hands, feet, and objects to yourself. You be safe with your body and with the objects around you, even if you're upset, even if you're angry. And take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using safe hands and safe feet. Follow the directions of all your teachers. I know this one can be a challenge to understand right now because you're not working with your teachers in person regularly and you haven't for a really long time. There's still people in your life that need to listen and follow their directions. Parents, care providers, respite workers, any support staff you may have, family members, they ask you to do the things they ask you to do to keep you safe. Always use nice words. You need to make good choices. That means being appropriate with your language and your tone of voice. Even if you're upset, even if you're angry, and take a deep breath. Try to find a different way to communicate what we want and what we need using appropriate words and an appropriate tone of voice. Because people aren't going to want to listen to us if we're yelling at them or using inappropriate words. And lastly, always do your best. Yes. Always do your best. We do the best we can with what we have each day. And your best can look different from day to day and from situation to situation. And that's okay. Your best might look different from someone else's best. And that's okay too. As long as you are trying your best, that's all that matters. Our communication rights, because we're adults and we have rights. And some of those rights, these 15 in particular, deal with our communication, how we communicate with others and how others communicate with us. There are 15 communication rights, which we go over every, we go over every other week. So on a five-day week like this one, we do three per day. So on Monday, we did three. Tuesday, we did three. Wednesday, we did three. Yesterday, we did three. And now we're going to do our last three. I have the right to say what I feel. Your person and your feelings matter. That's why we go over our feelings every single day in meeting. You have the right to say what you feel about things, especially if something makes you feel unsafe or uncomfortable. I have the right to be heard and answered even if I can't have what I want. Your person and your wants matter. You have a right to be heard and answered with your request, but something we have to cope with is that sometimes that answer may be no. I have the right to be talked to and not about your person. And you have a right for the people in your life to talk to you when something concerns you, not about you. You should be involved in those conversations. And lastly, because we have the right to say what we feel, how are you feeling today? Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you angry? Are you embarrassed? Are you hungry? Are you anxious? Are you cold? Are you frustrated? Are you happy? Are you bored? Are you sad? Are you silly? Are you jealous? Are you tired? Are you disgusted? Are you thirsty? Are you excited? Are you sick? You can point or you can tell somebody. If there's a way you're feeling it's not listed, you can tell somebody that as well. You can always be more than one thing. Awesome job. I'm a little tired today. It's true. It's been a busy week, so I'm tired. I need to make sure I get some rest this weekend so I can come back refreshed 
on Monday. I'm a little sad today. It's true, as I have been every day for the last two years um, because I miss you. Of course, I'm happy because most of your friends are back in school. I'm still a little sad each day because I miss you and I want you back here with us. Even though I'm tired and I'm sad because I miss you, and I think about all of you home, happy, healthy, safe, well taken care of, the fact that hopefully someday soon we'll all be back together in class. We have so much fun, work so hard, and all this time apart will just be a memory. When I think about all that, that makes me really, really happy. It's true. Thinking about all of you and our future together makes me so happy. That is what I focus on because you are my happy place. With that though, meeting is all done. I am gonna do a reading video. Um, I think we're gonna finish chapter 10 today. And then we are going to do our 10 o'clock Zoom meeting where we're going to do exercise. All right. Hope you have a good day today, friends. A beautiful Friday, a great weekend. And I'll see you in my videos on Monday. Bye, friends.